Did I do something wrong? <laughs> These brows. No, no, no. What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, divos? Y'all, I know y'all hear that rain. It is pouring outside. If y'all don't hear that, um, I don't know what to tell y'all, but it is like monsoon season. It is pouring outside right now it's actually 4 56 and it's pouring like it's in the middle of the night like lately we've been having some really strong rains and i'm loving it however one night it was raining so hard like listen let me tell y'all real quick i like i'm one of those people that like to go to sleep to sounds sound of the water the ocean a storm a rainstorm thunderstorm you know sometimes i like the crickets um, I do like to hear the sound of the plane. I'm one of those. So I, I, I watch YouTube. I don't watch it, but it watches me. There are certain creators on here. You know, they have the, the 24 hours. It just plays 24 hours, this black screen, rain, thunderstorm. So I just click on it on my TV and then I'll go to sleep to it. One night I woke up and I was like, damn, that sounds so real. This is me looking around the room like, damn, that sounds so real. And I'm looking at the TV and I'm, I'm like, you know, I woke up. So I really couldn't distinguish if it was the TV or if it was coming from outside because I just woke up. So I'm like, dang, but you know, like it sounded so real. Like it just sounded like it was right there. I'm still sitting here and I'm trying to distinguish if it's raining or if it's the TV. I had to mute the TV to find out it was a storm going outside. When I tell you that it was windy, like strong winds, like a thousand miles per hour or per second, I'm exaggerating, but it was that windy to where it had the house shaking. And I just was laying in the bed like, it felt like a, a earthquake, but it wasn't. The winds get that strong out here. We about to not have a house because the house is about to cave in. This is this is just me laying in the bed thinking like the house gonna fall because it felt, I could feel the house shaking. It rained so hard that you, you just like, I don't, I don't think I wanna go outside. Not today, not tomorrow. Not ever during the rainstorm out here. Cause I guess cause it don't rain. So when it do rain, Girl, it be raining and I be just loving it. I love like the gloomy days, you know, I love them. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about the weather because I'm not the weather girl, you know. You can go check the weather channel for that. We're going to do this eyebrow video. Um, I don't know how this is going to work out. I hope my eyebrows don't get sore, but I figured that this would be fun. But this is the setup for today. I know when you get stencils, right? You get stencils for your eyebrows, the eyebrow stencils. Normally you only get about, the most I've ever seen is like six templates at a time, you know, six temp eyebrow templates at a time. Y'all, when I seen that this, they had 32 stencil eyebrows, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm about to try this out because I really want to know what's up with all these different shaped eyebrows. And is there one that will really work for me that I really like? Like normally when I tried out these eyebrow stencils, my brows never came out good. They always look too thick. So I was fine with drawing my own eyebrows in, okay? Like when I say I was fine with it, I was fine with it. But I just wanted to try this, okay? I bought two of them, but they're from the same company, just different packaging. I got these from Amazon because I never seen anything where 30 different templates for your eyebrow. And they're fairly cheap, okay? I love Amazon, Amazon Prime, you know, you get your stuff on time. So there are two of them that I got. And honestly, I thought they would each have something different. Like the templates would be different. This one came with some eyebrow gel. Came waterproof eyebrow gel. Okay, so you get that. But you also get 30 templates. Okay, 30 templates. I think I said 32, but it's actually 30 templates. 30 different ways you can do your brows. So I better not see nobody walking around with bad brows. Also came with an eyebrow trimmer. We're not about to use that today because... I don't care if my eyebrows are out of shape. I need them there for when I don't want to draw on my eyebrows. The templates, which I went ahead and, you know, punched out the actual pieces. And also came with two of these cords, okay? So you can wear these eyebrows templates like a mask. It just hooks onto these two little holes. There's a hole on each end that you just put, put pierce out. And the metal end of these right here, if you can see them, this metal piece right here kind of like opens up and just claps on. So that way your eyebrows, I guess, don't come out uneven or it's just easier for you to, you know, do your brows. This is going to be interesting. I did look through them and some of them have repeated, um, the names have been repeated, but the style is a little bit different. The tip might be different. The tail might be different. And then in this one, you get... The only thing you don't get is the eyebrow gel. And then instead of the eyebrow gel, you get an eyebrow double-sided pencil. 
one side pencil and the other side is the spoolie either way you know they do have the exact same eyebrow templates in each box though today I didn't wear no makeup because for what I'm gonna just keep wiping off the eyebrows so I got my eyebrow press powder things here I got pencils eyebrow markers like listen eyebrow pomade we're we gonna just try we're gonna try it all now I'm hoping that these brows or this brow stuff right here ain't greasy or you know cuz I try some that didn't work I have one that I like to use which is the wet and wild eyebrow gel like I said they each have a name these are called crown eyebrow This is interesting, you guys. And it's like a ruler, kinda. You know, there's like little lines, you see it? It shows you like a dot where you could line them up at. This is like a really good template though, okay? What I'll be using every day for the best looking eyebrows though is this NYX Snatch Brow. Lift and Snatch. Oh, I love this little marker. So I outlined it. Okay, so now I'm going to use something else. I'm going to use the pencil that it came with. And if y'all are wondering why my eyes are red, well, you know, I was enjoying life. Let's try this on this side. I like the color of it, but it's, it's not dark enough for me, but the color is nice. It's kind of hard to put into the template. Yeah, this is not a good color for me. I'm not going to keep going on with this color. I don't know about this pencil either with this. This is looking crazy. You know what I'm gonna use? My eyebrow pomade by Be Bella Cosmetics. Just to fill in this brow. Look y'all, I done tried everything, all kind of eyebrow thing. I even got their little hair eyebrow filler. I used to like it to be like dark, but not no more. Like I don't I don't want them to look like, well, like, like drawn on eyebrows this side. Like, I don't know what to tell you about this side. Let's see what it looks like. Let's let's see, let's see. You definitely have to fix it up afterwards. You know, it seems like the tail end part is always the part that you gotta fix up. And then you wanna brush it kinda, just so it don't be so hard in the front. Now I guess if you was to play around with it, you will get the look you you know you want. And this this brow shape ain't too bad. This I kind of like this one. I, I, I kind of like this one. But you know what the thing is too, you have to use the right tool. So so far for me, the best thing that um is was hitting was my pomade and my um, fine pen from NYX. Look at this brow right here. The color brown is definitely not a hit for me but this is not gonna work that great with these templates. That pencil, nor is the Fenty one, like a good one for me. Ooh, these are kind of thick too, okay? Garland eyebrow, these are kind of thick. I like a nice slanted arch, but these are these are thick all around, it looks like, and I'm not into those type of brows. It all depends on your face shape and how big your face is, so, you know, if you got a little head and stuff, you can't be having no big old brows that take up mostly 80% of your head um, space. This is kind of cool, this um, eyebrow thing. I like this, especially the ease of just placing this on your face and then you, you know, you don't have to hold the template in place like, like most templates that you get. Imagine using this as a makeup artist and you're just doing makeup tutorials every day. I wouldn't be able to take the person serious that was wearing this. Okay, so the next one is, what did I call it? Garland eyebrow, garland eyebrow. So today's drink is an iced coffee, but it damn sure ain't from Dunkin' Donuts. It's from Jack in the Box, okay? I haven't had an iced coffee in like a couple of months because you know, I'm trying to be healthy and I was at Jack in the Box. I've never even had Jack in the Box before, ever. And so I wanted to try it out because I heard good things on the radio about their breakfast sandwiches. 
Girl, their breakfast sandwiches is bomb as hell. Um, what is it? The loaded breakfast sandwich? Yes. Oh my God. On a sourdough bread sausage, bacon, two fresh scram um, sunny side eggs or whatever. Girl, and ham. Oh, delicious. Okay. Yes, but I decided to try the iced coffee. Not good at all. I mean, it's not it's not the worst, but it ain't the best. So I'm going to try to do it with these now. These eyebrow powders. Each okay. of them have something different. This is the Gerard Cosmetics. It comes with a set and wax of two browns. This one by the Brow Gals have three different colors. I'm going to use the same brush I tried my pomade with. Is that a good idea to do that? These are some big brows, you guys. That wasn't too bad. This is with the powder. So I got a regular eyebrow pencil, either Cover Girl or LA Colors, one of those. It's from the Dollar Tree. And I don't think the pencils are like suited for this, this type of template. Definitely don't want to use that pencil. Let's see what this came out to look like. Okay, so like I told you guys, you have to clean it up. I wish that they would just, as soon as you take them off, they would be perfect. On the tail ends, I'm just using a black eyeliner pen. Yeah, I think I like it better with the pomade, for sure. Let's this pencil is horrible. Okay, so in my opinion, the one that works the best for these templates, in my opinion, is the pomade and NYX marker pen. So let's try the next one. We know what to use now. Okay, so that was Garland Brow. Okay, so the first one that I used was Crown Eyebrow. Y'all see the little dark marks? This was the first one. And now here goes another one called Crown Eyebrow. They're like slightly a little bit different in the arch, I, I feel, at the end, at the tail end. The arch is a little bit softer, curves out a little bit softer and thins out. That's the difference. All right. I'm gonna just do it just with the pomade. Okay, you guys, so there you have it. With the left one, I kind of was, seemed like I got it on much easier. Well, let's see what it looks like. I just used the pomade. That's what it is, that's what it is, you know? Wanna soften it up. And then once again, I will just go ahead and fix the tail end up. So you can soften it up. You just gotta soften it up. But this one came out, the tail end came out a little bit better. What do y'all think about these brows? These ain't too bad, right? Look like I'm kind of excited. I really want to take some concealer. This is going to look crazy on me right now because I don't have any makeup on. I think once you clean it up, you'll have some really Freaking nice brows. Like, come on, you guys. Now, I can't wipe that away because that's a freckle. But once you clean it up and put your makeup on and stuff, girl, you got you a nice brow. Don't tell me, ooh, look, I might have found the template that I really like because this brow set looking good on a girl. I kind of softened the eye, the end tail a little bit for my, my own liking. But you know, you can put your own spin on it. And that's a cute brow right there. I don't care what nobody say. That's a cute brow. This might be my thumbnail brow. There are numbers on them. So there's a number 10. This is number 10, okay. You know, I'm gonna keep this one eyebrow on because this one is my favorite and we're gonna do the other one. So this one here I'm gonna do is Blessing Eyebrow. All right, first let me just clean it off. And I wanna find like at least one that is either dead smack on, better, or just as good. And plus, look, I ain't gonna keep wiping this off because my, my eyebrows are gonna turn red in a second. Blessing eyebrow. We got partner eyebrow. What the fuck is partner eyebrow? Line eyebrow. There are some people that really could use these. And I, for one, am one of them. 
but there are some that have such bad brows and I when I say I for one and one of them I have went back and looked at my old videos girl why y'all let me come on YouTube looking like that with some black eyebrows and they was too wide and thick girl no that wasn't cool y'all to do okay so this is blessing brow now they look kind of the same we're gonna use the pomade because I'm liking the pomade you gotta have like the right brush too for the pomade and I just take it and go upwards and then once I get to the tail end, I gotta make sure to angle the brush downward because you want to make sure that it's on the entire template eyebrows still intact okay Look at that, bam. Now this one ain't too bad. Now one thing I will suggest with this, if you do use these to do your eyebrows on a daily basis, look, that's cool. Cause I, I like I said, I got one that I'm about to use every day. Well, not every day, but when I want to do my brows, I will surely use it. But what I will suggest is put them on first before you put your foundation and stuff on. Cause you know, once you put that plastic to your face with all your foundation it's gonna rub right off onto there I can see the difference I can see the difference you can see that one is arched up a little bit higher I don't know which one I like for some reason I'm starting to like the blessing one a little bit better I like a nice high arch like this it just up it just lifts my face up you know what I'm saying I look excited all the time I like this one more what do y'all think one or two I don't want I'm not gonna try all of these but I'm gonna pick out a couple of more to show you guys so now that I found another pair that I like what I'm gonna do is we're gonna conceal this one real quick that's a nice brow girl yes look if you got a good brow with some nice eyelashes girl you are you are on the money okay so so far blessing is a blessing for me okay I wanted to try these square looking brows horizontal eyebrow okay this one is blessing number number six if you got if your brows come out good it's a blessing All right now we got horizontal eyebrow oh I'm, I'm look I'm definitely using this and if you use the right stuff your eyebrows won't be too bad even without makeup I like these little strap things these are definitely what's up these little strap things here yeah, this stuff does get a little bit hard to take off after a while I'm just gonna use the pomade all right you guys let's see how it came out so the tail end is kind of short Definitely not for me. I don't like that one. I don't care if I was to clean it up. It just, it wouldn't be for me. It's missing. It's too high up right here. I don't like it when it's that, that small. So this one is not for me. Let's try one more. Y'all see my brow is getting red. This one is called Beautiful Brow. Let's see what Beautiful Brow is. Beautiful Brow number 24. This is going to be part of my makeup kit. And I ain't even got no makeup kit. But now I'm going to make one. I hate doing my brows because I begin to Set, all right if they don't come out right you know you gotta have everybody like their sisters they not twins they need to be twins okay I need for them to match that and eyeliner I can't stand to do eyeliner because I need them to match just as well beautiful brown fix the tail ends Hmm, still no. I don't like when the tail is so short like that. I don't know what it does for me, but it doesn't. What do y'all think of this one? Let's try another one, because I'm not feeling beautiful brow. I want to find another one that I'm feeling. We got something over here called student eyebrow. Let's try student eyebrow. So far, blessing is a blessing. Okay, student eyebrow. No, too thick. But see, I said there was one thick one. I think this is the one that's the widest. The ends are kind of short. The tail is kind of short, and then the 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 front is it is rounded and i don't really like around it not for me that was student eyebrow yeah this is like student meaning i need to keep learning about eyebrows because this is definitely not could you you know what's so crazy my eyebrow i i remember quite a few videos of my eyebrows looking like this okay serious and i i i remember some where they was like this thick drawn on not cool let's try face lift eyebrow 
brow. It's about to get busy. It's about to be lit in here with these banging brows. Banging brows. That's what they need to have a template that say. Banging brows. All right. Face lift brows. Oh. Did I do something wrong? <laughs> These brows, no, no, no. This this can't be. This definitely cannot be. This looks horrible. No, no, no. Definitely no. This one is a no. Hell to the no. That's a bad brow. Okay, and that was the facelift. Oh my God, well you know when you get plastic surgery on your face, sometimes that, that ish don't look good. So my brows is hurting, you guys. So I think I got me a winner, which is the blessed eyebrow. We gonna put on both of them. All right guys, so here is the finished look. I'm loving this eyebrow shape. This is the blessing eyebrow. Now like I told you guys, you gotta tweak it. You gotta make it yours. You know, you gotta clean it up. You know, one is a little bit darker than the other. Um, I did have to mess with it a little bit. But girl, these brows are banging. I'm loving it, okay? You definitely have to tweak it and make it your own. I like the fact that there's 30 of these, 30 eyebrow templates that you can play with. There's something for everybody's face shape, okay? I better not see nobody out there no more with no bad brows, including myself. So check Amazon. I will link them below, $14.99. I prom I think you saved like five percent sorry this video was so long but you know we have fun we have fun trying on eyebrows and out of all 30 I tried on I tried on eight brows eight out of 30 is good right I mean I gave you like some good brow looks right I love you all make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up if you purchase them let me know what you think about them and this is my this is my pair this is gonna be my go-to brows now I love you all and I'll see y'all in the next one 